welcome back to my channel illustrate tour i am tour and well let's just dive straight into it we are all talking about inktober 2017 which was created by a mr jake parker with the idea of better his drawing habits and improving his inking skills which really caught on you can find out all the information from his website here and here's a screen grab that I grabbed from the website, which is a full list of Jake's prompts for this year. He has a tendency of mixing it up every year and you can jazz it up or twist it into anything you want. So some people have paired it up with princesses or fantasy or they have their own OC, which is original character, and they go from there. So there is a lot of flexibility. You can mix it up and make it your own. And don't worry if you are just sat there thinking there must be tons of rules to take part in this. Well actually, no, it couldn't be more simple. There are only four rules you need to keep in mind. So number one is to make an ink drawing every single day. And you know, there's tons of different materials, but we can go into that later. Number two is post it online. And it's usually Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever your jam is, that's the one you wanna get. And remember to hashtag it Inktober and Inktober 2017. And then you can repeat it through the whole month of October because it's Inktober, oh yeah. Okay, so moving on to supplies, there is a wide range of different things you can choose between. So basically anything ink goes. So you've got liquid inks in bottles. I personally have Windsor & Newton. There are tons of other brands, ballpoint pens, markers, fine liners, and then there's a whole manner of different ways of applying it too. So the world is your oyster as long as it's an inky oyster, if you follow me. <laughs> And if you're sat there watching this thinking, oh I don't know Tor, Inktober sounds like a, a really big hassle and a massive dedication because that's a drawing every single day. And you are right, it is a big dedication, a drawing every day. You can of course do the half marathon instead, which is just where you do one every other day, or even if you have even less time than that, then just do a drawing at the weekend and post it that way. The idea is it's self-improvement, so as long as you are challenging yourself, it is fine. It's basically a big, big, big challenge month. <laughs> And I am no exception for overstepping my boundaries. Last year, I really pushed myself probably too hard. I did a full inky illustration every single day. I recorded it, I edited it, and I uploaded it every single day while at uni. Can I just say that that's absolutely insane? Please, please don't go to that extent because I honestly was a zombie by the end of it. People thought I was ill. That was too much. So there is a line, just find out where your line is. <laughs> so I've scaled it back this year. I'm just sticking to standard one drawing every single day. So thanks guys for sticking around. If you have any adaptions that you think other people might benefit from, feel free to leave supportive comments, hints and tips in the comment section below to help anyone that might be on the fence and a little bit unsure. So thanks very much for watching guys, remember to hit the like button if you liked and sub if you haven't. Until next time guys, just keep doodling, bye!